Hello students, welcome back to my channel and today I've come up with a new problem from class 10 chapter 2 exercise 2.3 question number 2. In my previous class, I have solved question number 1. Here I am going to solve question number 2. So for question number 1, you click on the link above and watch it. So let's get started with our video. So question number two, check whether the first polynomial is a factor of the second polynomial by dividing the second polynomial by the first polynomial. So in this polynomial, this is the first polynomial and this is the second polynomial and we'll see whether the first polynomial is a factor of the second polynomial. See, the first polynomial will divide the second which is written here by dividing the second polynomial by the first polynomial and if we do not get a remainder then yes the first polynomial is a factor of the second polynomial so question number one in these two polynomials this is the first polynomial this will divide the second polynomial and if we do not get a remainder then this is a factor of the second polynomial and if we get a remainder then the first polynomial is not a factor of the second polynomial now let us divide and see t square minus 3. This is the divisor and the second one is the dividend which is 2t to the power 4 plus 3t cube minus 2t square minus 9t minus 12. So like what I did in question number 1 will divide the first term of the dividend by the first term of the divisor which is 2t to the power 4 will divide will be divided by t square 2t to the power 4 will be divided by t square 2t to the power 4 will be divided by t square now we get 2t t square into t square okay t square into t square will be 2t to the power 4 so we'll t square minus 3 into 2t to the power 2t square. So we'll multiply and see 2t square into this whole term t square minus 3. We have 2t to the power 4 minus 3 to the 6t square. So we'll write 2t to the power 4 minus 6t square. We'll write below t square minus 6 t square now we'll subtract the above and the below minus and minus minus and plus gets cancelled off and this one is minus 2 and minus minus plus 6 we have 6 minus 2 which is 4 t square okay 4 t square and the remaining one will bring as it is 3 t cube we have here plus 4t square and the remaining one minus 90 this whole term minus 12 will bring down in the same way before we'll do 3t cube by t square we have t square into t into 3t okay so plus 3t we'll now multiply 3t into this whole term t square minus 3 we have 3t cube minus 3 to the 9t. So we write here 3t cube minus 93t cube minus 9t. We'll write below the t. And after that, we'll subtract now 3t plus 3t and minus 3t gets cancelled off. And this one minus 9t and minus minus plus 9t also gets cancelled off. We have now 4t square minus 12. In the same way, we divide now t square divided by this first time t square. This is 4 now, so plus 4. So 4 into this one, t square minus 3, we have 4 t square minus 4 3 is 12. So we write here 4 t square minus 12. Now we'll subtract minus plus and minus gets cancelled off then this one also same we get zero as the remainder now it is seen that the first polynomial is a factor of the second polynomial because we have no remainder here so we will write 
this is the polynomial of t square minus 3 is a factor of the second polynomial okay it's a factor of the second polynomial which is 2 t to the power 4 plus 3 t cube minus 2 t square minus 9 t minus 12 so i hope this is clear to you for your clear understanding i'll show you by applying numbers like you we know that 2 is a factor of 8 so we'll divide and see 8 divided by 2 sorry 8 divided by 2 okay so 2 for the 8 we do not get a remainder which proves that 2 is a factor of 8 so now it is clear to you so in this way we will do and see we get a remainder or not let's do another one now to question number three now in these two polynomials we'll divide the second polynomial by the first polynomial okay so first polynomial which is x cube minus 3x plus 1 will divide the second polynomial which is x to the power 5 minus 4x cube plus x square plus 3x plus 1. So like the previous one will divide x to the power 5 by x square we have x to the power 5 divided by x cube we have x square okay 5 minus 3 is 2. So, x square. So, x square into this whole term we have x cube minus 3x plus 1. So, we have here x to the power 3 plus 2, 5, okay. 3 plus 2, 5 minus 3, 3x into 3x square, 3x cube plus x square into 1 is x square. So, we have here x to the power 5 minus 3x cube plus x square okay now we'll subtract this two please don't forget to subscribe to my channel okay so now this two plus and minus gets cancelled off and this one also same so we have minus 4 and plus and minus 3 we have 4 minus 3 which is minus x cube minus 1 x cube plus 3x plus 1 will bring as it is again we'll divide minus x cube by x cube so we get here minus 1 so minus 1 so minus 1 into this whole term x cube minus 3x plus 1 we have minus 1 into x cube we have minus x cube minus minus plus 3x into 1 3x and minus plus is minus minus 1 1 is a 1 so we have minus x cube plus 3x and minus 1 so we'll again subtract so we'll bring one minus here minus x cube and minus minus plus x cube and plus 3x and minus 3x and we have plus 1 and minus minus plus 1 which is 2 plus 1 and plus 1 is 2 so we have 2 as the remainder which means that the first polynomial is not a factor of the second polynomial okay if we get a remainder so we write here x cube minus 3x plus 1 is not a factor of the second polynomial which is x to the power 5 minus 4x cube plus x square plus 3x plus 1. Well, I'll show you by applying numbers in the same way like the previous one. We know that 2 is not a factor of 11. Okay, 2 is not a factor of 11. We'll divide and see. 11 divided by 2 we have 2 5 is a 10. We have 1 as remainder which means that 2 is not a factor of 11. So thanks for watching my video. We'll meet on the next video with a new lesson. Okay, thank you.